Hello, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm exhausted, as I'm sure you are, too. We're pushing the wire here. I love it. You know, a few things working in the background. You know how it is. Always, Uh, always working, always working. So you are a twofer, right? You got yourself a booth. You got yourself a class. We're going to talk about both of those things. But first, I want to talk about Scared of My Shadow because maybe not a lot of people know of it. It's not the most straightforward type of business. It's a very... uh, scary boutique i like to call it it's just got a little bit of everything to kind of hit everybody's flavor so uh, talk about some of the stuff you're going to be bringing to fear expo this year awesome yeah so scared of my shadow i work in what i call a legacy material so my primary material is leather now that might seem like something like people are like kind of like weird about with the Han industry but i'm here to tell you leather will last for seasons and seasons and seasons And I'm a professional costume designer of, oh God, 25 years. So um, I have been building masks now for a really long time. So my leather masks um, are my primary, primarily what I carry, but I also do accessories, um, including uh, custom leather aprons. And I even do some little like little items so that you have a little something special to take home with you, some little bags and some journals and some other fun stuff as well. But primarily, I make leather masks specifically for the haunted attraction industry. And that's what I liked about uh, your booth last year. I got, you know, I hung out with you for a little bit last year and got to see a lot of the cool stuff that you you make. And in, in, I mean, just a lot of really cool things. But for those of us that aren't haunt owners with like super deep pockets that are going to, you know, CFX or VFX or Global FX and all these other companies and spending a lot of money, if you're an actor, you could come to Scared of My Shadows and you could get, I mean, anything from little pins to full-blown masks and costumes within budget. I mean, you're you're very reasonable, very quality materials and stuff like that. So for all the actors and and sightseers that are going to be here uh, next weekend, what kind of the little things that you're going to bring for everyone? Oh, that's a great question. So I have, first of all, I have some masks that are smaller. I have everything from like very elaborate masks to more simplified masks. Um, but they still feature some of like the really cool things. Like I, I also make my own like dental appliances and things. And so I have masks that are more reasonably priced, very actor priced friendly that are muzzles. And, but then I also have little, um, they're spring clutch uh, p- uh, pouches and they're perfect to hold credit cards. And if you carry cash, cash, um, I know most people don't carry cash anymore, um, but um, I also will be giving away stickers at my booth as well. Um, but what's really nice too this this year, I'm going to be bringing um, journals. So I custom make these journals that can either be customized for a haunt to give to their employees, their top employees, um, or that you can gift for yourself. And it's a great way to walk around the show floor and take notes from all of your favorite vendors um, so that you have it all comprised in one place. So I have everything from like little accessories to, of course, varying degrees of uh, math. Now, fortunately for everybody else, there's a point in time where you have to abandon your booth next weekend. Yes. You are spreading your wonderful knowledge onto the masses. Tell us about your class. So I'm actually teaching two classes. I'll be teaching a class called So Scary, and that one is on Sunday. And that is one where I will go over everything from beginner things to advanced topics in an hour. So I'm going to be covering a lot of information. And what is particularly um, useful within that is I'm going to build in time so that you can come and ask your question um, to someone who has built for over 250 productions. So I have been building costumes for a long time. So bring your questions and I'm going to help you answer those questions. 
And then on Saturday, I'm teaching a class on uh, basically how to create your own intellectual property. One of the things that I think is one of my superpowers, besides making leather masks, of course, is I am really good at helping people come up with cool ideas. I'm an idea, I am, I'm an idea miner, and I can help you create, start with an original concept and even take it further and further and further. And so the IP class, the intellectual property class, is going to be very, very hands-on, very involved, and a big idea session where I'm going to give you lots of tools of how to not only come up with a cool idea, but also ways to concisely sell that idea to the perhaps your haunt owner, perhaps um, the the people in your community, whatever it may be. So that's what that class is going to be about. So I'm actually going to leave my booth twice. Oh, but that's all right. You have an absolute crack team that's going to be covering for you. So no matter what, anytime, make sure you swing by Scared of My Shadows. Check out everything they have. Clean her out. I need this woman busy. She needs to make more stuff. Clean her out. Uh, so I don't know. Do you uh, do you know your booth number by any chance? It's two fifteen. Two fifteen. Perfect. And where can we find Scared of My Shadows? At www.scared-of-my-dash. Shadow. Yeah, needless to say, scared, scared, making people scared of their shadow is a pretty popular domain name. So <laughs> scared dash of dash my dash shadow. Awesome. Lisa, I love you as always. You are an incredible human being, and I can't wait. In a few short days, you and I are going to just be working and partying and just having the greatest time. And I hope all these people that are watching tonight are going to have the greatest time. And I hope everybody that's going to be there is going to have the greatest time. Thank you so much. Thank you.